Now, the last thing I want to do in this particular tutorial is show you how we can use regular expression for validation. So if you want to do data validation and you want to make sure that in this field, people actually enter an email address, not something else. So we can use this function called reg x match and what it is it's a logical function so if it matches the regular expression it's gonna do true if it doesn't match the regular expression it's gonna say false so what it means if I click on this right that's the text I want to check against that's the text and the next one is regular expression so if I do a regular expression and I say edu which means does it contain the text edu in it can you extract it out of it right and close this this is going to say true because it includes edu in it if i scroll down and something doesn't have edu in it it's going to just say false All right so we have trues or falses now uh what we could do in this particular case we can also just uh, make this little nicer and we can match an email address now how can we match an email address with a regular expression so again in email address what do we have we have some characters in the beginning which are some alphanumeric characters and we also the dot is one of the other possibilities I guess in one of this possible options so let's go ahead and use our square brackets and use all the characters that we think could be included in the f beginning part of the email so the beginning part of the email is going to be a to z lowercase or a to z uppercase and i believe uh, and we use dots here and sometimes underscores i'm not sure we can we we can use hyphens in our email name uh, but i think we could so i'm going to include that as well but something that we may possibly check is it possible to do like a hyphen in your email address or not so that's gonna hopefully match the first part so if we hit enter it should say true so all of them should match this because all of them have the start of this now after that we want to make sure right so that it could be one of more of these characters that we just specified and after those characters there should be some sort of at sign following it so if I copy this down they all have an at sign but if we remove the at sign for example from here it shouldn't match because there's no at sign so undo that with command Z so getting back here so let's continue however just because something has an ad sign that doesn't mean it's gonna be a valid email address because somebody could have done like this much an ad sign and not do the rest that's not an email address so after that we're gonna have the actual domain name right so the domain name is going to be well as we figured out before the characters we could have in our domain name is a to z lowercase a to z uppercase and then and uh, again if you want to enforce that they do just lowercase you could just use a to z lowercase which could make a lot of sense because like it's irritating having this uppercase characters in it well I guess we'll keep that so a to z and we said it could be also a hyphen so that's gonna match this domain name part and after that after the domain name we have we need to have some sort of a dot right which is going to be this dot after that and we could have this edu part whatever that is so or ca or whatever it is so that's going to be uh characters that are a to z or a to z uppercase those are the characters we can have and we can have one or more of those characters not just one of them right and finally uh, we have our last character set in the end which uh, could be also this dot co so I'm gonna put that part in this group that I have 
and in this group I it could be again another dot right and it could be uh, one or more of those characters so the, those characters are again a to z lowercase a to z uppercase and one or more of those characters that gives us a false so let's see why we have a false here so we have oh we forgot the plus sign probably here uh -huh. makes sense so do we need a plus sign which means one or more of these characters and then we have a dot after that and then after the dot we're gonna have our characters so a to z or a to z and then after that one one or more of this we'll have our group of characters which is gonna be again starting with a dot and again this a to z lowercase a to z uppercase and we want one or more of this which is you can indicate with a plus sign so that gives us a true which is nice but the problem with this is that if i scroll this down it's going to be false for this because we've included the whole pattern starting from the beginning to the end and i intentionally did this one in this uh you know group so and what i'm going to do i'm going to make that group optional by adding a question mark in the end of that group so that question mark after a character or after a group means that's that group or that character is optional so now if we copy this down everything should be true if it's a valid email but let's try to play around with this and try to type invalid emails so for example that should be an invalid email but that returns true so that means we have a problem with our logic because this shouldn't really return true this should be invalid email so what is the error in our logic so let's go take a look so we probably need a dollar sign here to make sure that we indicate that that's where it ends we wanted to finish with that yes so that was the problem because without the finish it could have still matched like this much and not care about the second part so now it doesn't match because we indicated that this should end with whatever this is uh, this is not valid so this should be valid now let's do some another end side here oh interesting so that's another thing we cannot have two at signs in our emails that's not going to be a valid email so we didn't think about that so let's see so that's going to be so after the at sign all these characters we said it's going to be a to z a to z and oh you know what so what is happening right now because of the at sign so the reason this is still matching the other one is because it's matching this so it starts with this characters and then the add and then this characters we could we never said that it should start at this point and then end at that point so it matches like this much of our email so that's still true so what we have to do we'll have to say that it should start here so we we can say starts with by using this uh, character in regular expression like this so that means it should start with this often numeric characters and then we should have an at sign and so on so let's try that and now this returns false great so now we don't have this problem so now that this so true so now let's see if there are some cases of invalid emails so let's say somebody types dot co dot net so i don't think there are three levels although who knows maybe it's a possibility i don't believe there are so this at least with our regular expression this is not valid so there it is it's false so this should be false this is false so if we include some uh 
unknown characters here like this this should be false that should not be a valid email I don't think that's you can actually use that in your domain names any other characters if we do numbers that should be fine uh, hold on a second it says false why is this false so this true so as I included numbers in here it said it false but we sh could have optionally domain names with numbers so let's go check out so I did here I did after the ad side A to Z A to Z ah I didn't include numbers in here 0 through 9 that's also a possibility so see there's a lot of troubleshooting here so there it is 1 to 3 we include those two nice but at the same time we shouldn't be able to do edu1 so that should be false because we said for the extension part it should be just you know alpha characters and then again for the beginning part we could have underscores so that should work because we said underscore is a part of our p pattern matching right here we said we could have dots we could have hyphens now what we could not have for example is a question mark so that should return false and it does so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that formula that I've made hit enter I'm gonna move to the right and here I'm gonna type email and then here I want to have data validation so they're not allowed to put anything else so I'm gonna go under uh, our data data validation and the criteria is going to be a custom formula and my custom formula is going to be my regular expression match formula right here we want to reject input if they're trying to enter something other than a valid email uh, and we'll go ahead and save this so right now we should have an email validation here so if somebody comes here and types something at that should be well that should give us an error so let's see did we do the right data validation here so let's go here back look at our data validation and we want to make sure ah rookie mistake so we did f2 so f2 is the other cell right now we're on column k so we'll have to update this formula a little bit make sure it's the k column we're checking that we're in so hit save now let's try to do this again and there it is uh, that violates the rules so that cannot be entered here so let's try to enter another invalid address so that's gonna be at something.com again not invalid email now let's enter a valid email so Dave at I don't know yahoo.com or something right so here we can do like John at you know something dot co dot UK so we have data validation using regex match so that's a little introduction I hope I didn't give you too much headache with our regular expression so let's go over some special characters that we have in regular expression uh, so the special characters in regular expression are a dot we have our parentheses are again special characters question mark is a special character plus is a special character and uh, so it's expecting us to enter a formula so let's make sure it's text plus is a special character this is a special character which is our escape character this special character dollar special character so if you're trying to match any of the special characters you have to escape them so when I was trying to do match an actual period I was doing escape and a period to match because otherwise the period means any character the same way like if you want to match a plus you want to make sure you do escape plus and so on now what were these characters this any character this will be indication of a group start and this is our group end this means optional 
and the optional is for the group that it's following or the, for the character it's following. The plus means one or more of the character that's right before this, right? This is our escape character we have. Uh, this means it has to start with. So that means the text has to start from the beginning with that particular character, which is the character that's following that. So to make it more uh, understandable, if I do something like this and do John, that would match everything that starts with John. So this would match, but if you had something that has like, like that, that wouldn't match because it doesn't start with John. So that means starts with. And finally, the dollar sign means end with. So that should end with that. So if we do, and we do this from the other end. So if we do UK, it means it should end with UK. So in this case, that should match this, but not match that. And then another thing I've used is this thing in the group. So when you have a group and you do in your group, this question mark and colon, and something here that means this is a non capturing group so we don't want the output but we want to group it together that's what it was for so and finally we have these square brackets that are also special characters right and again uh, this is where you give it a set of characters you want to match one of any of these characters now a lot of times when you want to make it easier and you want to just do all the off of characters, you just do A to Z or lowercase, A to Z or uppercase, and zero to nine, that would be all the numbers. This was our OR operator, we did this one too, so oh, we did a lot of them. So there are more, but this covers most of the characters. All right, that's it for this tutorial, I'll see you next time.